and girls, Claudia here from Euroblast in Cologne in Germany. And it's so proggy here. And we have In Vivo from Italy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. So the very first thing to say is that your band name is written in one word, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Typical mistake, but yeah, it's just one word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it actually it started, um, I chose that name because I, I like the idea of um, saying that we are working on something that is alive, mm -hmm. you know, and it's kind of a mm, tricky word, and, and so I liked it, and, and, and that became the name of the band, so. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're writing your music, mm -hmm. is that also very tricky to find out about sound, about what you really want? Is there like a democracy, <laughs> or are you the one to decide? <laughs> no, mainly I'm the one that decides. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no democracy here. <laughs> You're not no. a liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, I always, w I always try to find uh, the right balance between, you know, uh, something that mm, has a good uh, melodic part, so mm -hmm. um, something that could have a lot of hooks. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, the, um, I would like to create. I try to create something that is kind of unique. Mm -hmm. Because in, but nowadays there's a lot of music uh, out there, so I try always to find something that could represent mm -hmm. uh, my idea. But in this in this uh, moment, I would say our idea because they share the same, you know, the same uh, results mm -hmm. and they share they share the same idea. We would like to create something that uh, represents um, us mm -hmm. more than you know other bands mainly and. Uh, because the sound, um, what we play today, is uh, the result of a long, you know, uh, process. We mm -hmm. we tried. We we we've written a lot of stuff, and so um, yeah, uh, we uh, we try to create something that could represent us, uh, and, and you know, and, and be original somehow. Mm -hmm. So, what's the criteria that you say? Yes, I am content with this part, or. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, mainly it's a feeling, you yeah. know. Uh, for example, for the last album, we had like uh, 25 tracks mm -hmm. um, to choose from. And in the end, uh, yeah, well, we, we ended up choosing eight songs. Mm -hmm. So this gives you an idea of how much you, uh, you work to select the things you like yeah. more. And so uh, I think it, that's the moment where you choose the, the final sound. Mm -hmm. the overall sound of the band and yeah. um, this gives you yeah, an idea of how much uh, also how many things you write are not actually used yeah. or do not become really part of an album mm -hmm. so and with the single sounds within a song oh uh, yeah um, ma mainly uh, I, I, I try to put different uh, I try to create different scenarios, uh, the different situations inside the songs, mm -hmm. uh, but it—it's not always. You, you know, it does not work always. Mm -hmm. uh, that you have to. Sometimes you really have to be in the right moment at the right time to choose also the right sound and to, mm -hmm. to create something in properly. I would say mm -hmm. it's not just a matter of what you would like to do, but also what you. Um, the moment you are in, because yeah. uh, life is just like that. Yeah, I mean, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it depends. It really depends. But um, but um, how do you then add to all these ideas with the sound? <laughs> I, I just apply what it says. <laughs> no, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he he writes the the, the um, whole stuff and. Mm, me and uh, Michele, just, Michele and Michele just uh, um, try to personalize and make ours the, 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 the parts mm -hmm. we're playing. So the main idea is from yeah. him. Yeah, but, but the, uh, yeah, he's the, the creator. Of the <laughs> <laughs> but but how, how do you do this to personalize it? Like uh, sound wise or with the gear or no, with effects? It's, or it's mainly it trying to be <laughs> musical. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a lot, you know, um, experimenting with gear. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that 
has to be connected with the, the musicality. Mm -hmm. that, that's the first thing you have to. I try to um, to, to to get to 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 play something that is fits somehow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has to be natural. For yeah, us. it yeah. has to be natural, mm -hmm. not forced in any way. Mm -hmm. And you know, then the come you play, you have the idea, and maybe you can say, okay, maybe that piece of gear can help me mm -hmm. together, but not the opposite. Because for me, mm -hmm. personally. Because today I know a lot of bands, for example, work a lot with um, uh, sequencers and mm -hmm. uh, digital audio workstations to uh, do everything and record every single detail of mm -hmm. the stuff they are going to play. I like that, but sometimes that it's not really natural and you, you know it's not really the way you would you, you would play if it was just you and not the machine mm -hmm. so i still like the idea of writing down the main accents and the main parts but then somehow playing in a more human way i would say mm -hmm. not really only machine way because machines are perfect mm -hmm. but uh, we are talking of music so also the mistakes or the feelings you have when you play that part are really important, at least uh, this, mm -hmm. this is what I think. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that a machine does, but it's something that a human being performs. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And uh, when it comes to playing live, like, what is the important thing when you play your gig? What, what are you focused on? I'm, I'm focused about uh, the emotionality of the of the performance of my performance, and I want to communicate this uh, this kind of feeling to the to the audience. And uh, also, I I have to, we have to be focused to play well. And um, our show is also focused on the particular lights. Uh, we have to to have a, a very visual. Moment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, like this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have a weird question, maybe. Go for it. Because there is no, you know, there is no real answer, and you can't answer in any way that's not correct, and you know, this is a fishy thing. What is an artist? What is an artist? Are you an artist? Are you an artist? Oh. It's definitely someone that don't, doesn't say he's an artist. <laughs> I, I, I just, oh, I'm an artist. No, I, 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 I can't stand for no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough question, honestly. Um, I think the first answer is right, because I think you should not realize you're an artist, if you are an artist, mm -hmm. because um, to me, it's a person that is free to mm -hmm. do stuff, whatever this means. Because mm -hmm. if, if you are able to paint, uh, just paint something that represents you and, and that's art. Mm -hmm. Or if you're able to play an instrument, maybe you play something that um, you like or, you know. So that's, that, that's it. it mm -hmm. It's not that complex in the end. <laughs> Every time it gets complex, um, I, I personally don't think it you know, it will work because yeah. it's kind of not natural. I, I like art uh, is a, a natural flow. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, that that's it. It's not really about, wow, now I make this and then I make this. It, uh, to me, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's also a, a person that uh, found uh, a particular way to communicate uh, yeah. with the, um, with the, um, something that, that is, is not standard, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it always starts like that. You have a feeling. For example, sometimes I, I, uh, I've been through you know moments where people ask me to write songs, oh, yeah. and it was uh, and actually it still happens, and it's not easy. I wrote a lot of songs, but um, you need the right moment to write the right song, you know. And so I think it's really something that comes from the inside and somehow gets on the outside. But you are just uh, a tool. Mm -hmm. that somehow creates this and it's not something you can choose to do it's something that somehow you feel I don't know it's mm -hmm. to me it's just like that so thank you very much for talking to us thanks thank for you. your music okay. and watch out for the album <laughs> and thank you. probably I think there's gonna be some uh, 
gigs next year. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, we are planning yeah. right now. Hopefully. So yeah, yeah. yeah, we are working on that. So we hope, to, <laughs> we, hope we hope for right. the best. Watch out for 2019. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>